Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels where I intend to test the ultimate engine and see if it is possible in creative mode to launch an algae fueled rocket with it and thereby have a perfectly green rocket or whatever. The algae fuel tanks, if you recall, are extremely heavy and difficult to get into orbit and so it is a challenge but the new ultimate engine that we unlocked after completing things in the career mode uh, will hopefully help because it is much more efficient than the cluster engine we were primarily relying on before. It is even lighter than the cluster engine, which is amazing. But yes, it has been a while since I played the game, so I, I think I remember everything, but yep, that is because of many reasons. But anyway, I am on the new computer now, and as a result, hopefully there's less lag on some of the camera views and such. If you recall, that was an issue before. We'll see, uh, it tended to max out my CPU in certain views, and we'll see if it manages to do that with this i5-12600K now. That would be quite an achievement, but, you know, I don't know why I was doing it in the first place, so yeah. Anyway, I am going to build myself an algae fueled rocket. Maybe I should just pick up one from... Uh, we, we could use one of... Uh, th th not that one. <laughs> not that one. Uh, S2D Soyuz... Uh, looks like it has the hydrogen tanks. One of these... I, mean, I would like a... Maybe I should start from scratch. They all look horrible. I don't know what we can get away with and what we can't, though. I, I want to try and make it look good first, and then we'll worry about reducing weight later. So, pool parts. Okay, so we've got six, uh, eight of these tanks all hooked up here. And we've got outlets there that we can combine in sort of the main trunk. I don't know if it's going to have enough efficiency to deal with this or not. Uh, we'll work on it as we go along. We might want two stages. We might. I don't think we want two stages, given the stats of the ultimate engine. So I think it will just be one stage. Did I get a better nose at some point? I might- I forgot to unlock some parts, I know that. Keep that in mind. We'll have to go back into the career mode to unlock some things. Do we even need a pump with this thing? Maybe. I mean, it all depends on the feed of the algae fuel tanks. We'll leave room for a pump. Okay, so that's hooked up. 42,000 force power, whatever, <laughs> whatever units they're actually using here. Well, we haven't had any warnings about aerodynamics at all, actually. I really feel like putting launch clamps on this, but okay. Um, we're only half fuel here. I don't think it'll work, but that all depends on the efficiency of the engine. Uh, I haven't got a pump here, but we'll try it out first and then see what we, how much we need. it is. Oh gosh, I'm really close to it again. Um, I want my data. Okay. We don't even have a way of shutting down the engine, actually. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. It's launched. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going this way. It's got- it doesn't need a pump. <laughs> it doesn't need a pump. I need to turn down the gimbling. Uh, if this works, what we need to do is try and get a rocket that really will get into orbit around this thing. Because actually our deceleration once in orbit is twice that of Earth. Um, er, uh, so this body is pulling us down by 2 Gs instead of just 1 G. So, even though they claim that orbital velocity is 7.8 meters per second square, uh, meters per second, uh, sorry, kilometers per second, um, yeah, I had some unit messed up there, but that is not the case. Oh, we were close, but, uh, it's all over the place. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually our net speed, what is our net speed? Oh, no, definitely not enough. But, but as I already said, it's not going to be enough anyway. 
Seems pretty smooth. It's not using all the CPU. None of the problems that we had previously. Okay. Right now, the deceleration is not too bad. I wonder if we'll stay in orbit. Well, we're not in orbit anyway. Okay, but yeah, let's try and do that better. It can easily accommodate more fuel. It's got a lot of thrust on liftoff. But, uh, go back to game, uh, finish. Um, I should upload that because I like this rocket. I like to connect and everything. Um, good algae rocket one. Yeah, I probably could have gotten into orbit, so it doesn't look like my estimates were too far off, and we want that back. We need more fuel. Should we build it up top, or should we proton this and have side pods? Hmm. I think we'd be better off doing some protoning. The proton side pods don't decouple, you see. That's why it's uh, I call it protoning. Might be good to have something extend like that instead. Let's see. It's not giving me any aerodynamic warning, actually. These slide ends could accommodate the fins very well. What we really need is something to make sure that this is balanced on the ground, you see. We've got so many fuel connectors. This is surely some sort of achievement. Does that look like everything's connected? It's gonna be heavier this time, so maybe it'll be easier to control with my existing gimbling, though. I don't think I'm gonna get the nose cones that I want. I mean, it doesn't show any drag on those things. It's all drag-free. All drag-free. Okay, we've got a lot more fuel now. Let's see about this version. Okay, um, we used to be able to change which launch site we were launching at. Why can we no longer do that? We were uh, Maybe we were only able to, to do that in career mode? I think there's been an update that has caused us to lose that feature or something. Because that was good. I don't want to have to be standing right here. <laughs> uh, being able to change launch site was a good thing. Don't know what happened to that. Okay, we still don't have a gate or anything, so off it goes. Nice, nice rumble. Okay, we're going this way this time. I don't like using the auto swivel, by the way. I'm sure you noticed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's only using about 22% of my CPU in this view. On the onboard, it uses a bit more. 40... 40%. Whoa, whoa. This way, please. But it's like only when switching. Now it's only 13, 14%. Uh, I guess only when we're close to the area that they have all the stuff, maybe? Okay, let's see. We're just trying to get orbital velocity here for now. Well, horizontal speed of 7.8 should do it. Overall speed, 7.96. Now, so the question is, uh, do we actually stay in orbit? I can't really get a good camera view on this. <laughs> okay. So we see the acceleration as it is. 
And that should just be affecting our vertical speed as we go up to Apoapsis, right? I have no way of time warping. So, if we actually try and make a complete orbit, it's gonna take a long time. But there are signs beforehand whether everything is operating in a way that is conducive to making orbit. So, we are reaching our Apoapsis. And we're headed back down. The question is, how fast are we going to be heading back down? Now with this rocket, we just barely got into orbit and we did, weren't carrying any payload. Of course, uh, my attempt to make orbit wasn't exactly the most, you know, accurate one. We could do better with that. But this green rocket is clearly not the one that will get the most payload up here. Now, see, the... Uh, we're still accelerating downward, and yeah, this is not going to work out. Uh, hold on. It's a little bit more reluctant to increase that. Let's see. But we're definitely going to get below 100 kilometers here. Yeah, no, it's, it's, still, it's still pulling us down by quite a lot. See? We reach orbital velocity, but it isn't actually orbital velocity around this. And it just eliminates it immediately. Like that. No fireball. Well, we should upload a video to keep the design. I'll just throw on whatever tags. Green, good green rocket. Well, if we want sheer power to see if we can actually make orbit, we'll we'll switch to the hydrogen fuel tanks and see what happens. We'll use the frame of the good green rocket, I think. I don't know if we can make all the connections work. If the Hydrogen fuel tank is not too much larger, but it, it's pretty big. It was this big fuel tank though, but weirdly, the big fuel tank is somewhat less efficient than the hydrogen fuel tank in terms of its fuel to dry mass. If you take a look at it, it's only a little bit more fuel than the hydrogen fuel tank. And it's got 20, uh, sorry, 18 tons of dry mass. This one only has 12. But it does have a nice form factor, and it's tighter. I mean, it could fit in this body a lot easier. I guess. Okay, well, overall, fewer pipes, obviously, and fewer connectors. There will be some benefit to that as well. Okay, 3.4 ton rocket right now. We're just trying to go fast here. We'll worry about having better payloads later. Let's see what happens. I want other launch sites. I hear a car in the distance, in the game. Okay. All right, go. Yeah, I figured you'd have a lot of acceleration. Now uh, we're going this uh, this way this time. Okay, we might as well go horizontal here. We've done enough vertical actually. That, look at that acceleration, though. 20 G's right now. Oh, oh, no, don't go down. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard to control at 50 G's. <laughs> uh, 60. Okay, it's out.
All right, uh, 21 kilometers per second. That's more than twice orbital velocity here. We really deorbited in a hurry last time, though. I can't zoom out more. It's a nice looking engine in the back, though. I wonder how it decides where to put the onboard camera. Is this fast enough now? Is this really a globe at all? Or is it like a lens? Has bulge, but is not orbitable. I don't know if there's any way to tell if we pass over the exact same location twice. It's sort of tough to say. But if we do a full cycle where we have the vertical speed go negative and then go positive again, then we're basically in orbit. As long as we like, don't hit the atmosphere in the meantime. We are approaching our apoapsis here. Now, of course, this would be way past escape velocity around Earth already. On a single stage. <laughs> uh, okay, now we're going down. So, Apoapsis is 731 kilometers. I honestly don't know what it's measuring the altitude from, but because I swear the curvature of the world seems to be increasing still. It feels like we're going higher. But, you know, the proof will be when we hit the atmosphere again and explode, right? Uh, and it sure seems that even though we have a whole lot of horizontal speed, it's not working out for us. At some point, that acceleration has to start going down and getting back to zero. But it's not doing that. I mean, it's, it's interesting the way we're pointed versus where we're headed. It says our angle is down, but uh, the curvature is still increasing. <laughs> we're gonna have this look like this, but smack into the atmosphere. So confusing. I mean... It all depends on whether it chooses to kill us. That's, uh, I mean, the altitude reading could be wrong. Well, it sure seems to be going down there, doesn't it? And, yep, it killed us. So, the game cheats. The game's full of cheats. Visually, we were going where we ought to. I mean, we had reached escape velocity, so of course the globe would be getting smaller and smaller. But number-wise, number-wise, it's not telling the truth. Record distance, record speed. That's not even where my record speed was. I went 21 kilometers per second, but... Air time, yeah, well, it would be quite long. Record loopings. I don't... Uh, well, no, we only got one looping, yeah. I don't even know how we got one looping, but maybe that's uh, that's because we went into orbit. No, um, uh, ultimate rocket? Question mark. Okay. Well, all right. That's disappointing. So, I mean, unless somebody can correct me and me and doing something wrong, I don't think we can get into orbit around this planet. And that diminishes the possibilities in creative mode somewhat. I mean, you could create really wacky stuff, but I'm interested in going fast and getting places, really. Uh, so, yeah, that, is, that isn't working. But also, the fact that we can't pick our launch site, as I thought we were able to before, is a little bit of a disappointment. So, anyway... I'll wrap it up here after these experiments. These were the things I wanted to experiment with. Uh, could we do the green rocket? And could we get into orbit? And I've got my answers. So I'll think about what else I might want to do in this game. But, you know, these, these false limitations uh, really rub me the wrong way. 
With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.